Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how do I redirect the error rows to another table in SSIS. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can move the invalid records or failed records to another table using SSIS. So let's jump to the demo. So in the D files location, I go to file employeedata.csv. So sometimes we need to load the data from a CSV file or text file or maybe a one SQL server source to another source and majority of the time or sometimes the process can fail and the process can fail due to data conversion issues or there can be some truncation errors as well. So I have this CSV file which contains person's ID, first name, last name, their date of joining and the salary. Okay. So I want to migrate this data from CSV file into a SQL server table. So in my SQL server, I got a table employee data here, okay? And this particular table right now it is empty. And if I show you the uh, list of available columns in this particular table, so let me show you. So it contains ID, first name, last name, date of joining, and salary. So the same columns exist in the SQL server table as well. But if you look at the data type for the date of joining, so this is date type and if you look the data type of the salary so it is integer type so date of joining will only accept the valid dates into this particular column and the salary will only accept the valid numeric values into this particular column and of course the numeric values in a specific range as well okay but the salary can't be very big so that's why you know i have taken the data type as int we can also take ideally we should take as money okay but for this demo i just you know use it as integer so now let me just try to import the data into this particular table okay so i will be using the ssi specs to do that of course so let me just close this particular csv file and open the visual studio so this is my visual studio 2019 that i will be using today to create the ssis package but you can use any version of the ssis and ideally they should behave the same way so because we want to import the data from a csv file into a sql server table so we will be using a data flow task here so i can just drag and drop the data flow task into the control flow window and then i can configure the data flow task here because our source is a csv file so we will be using the flat file source to read the data so i can just drag and drop the flat file source into the data flow task now i can configure the flat file source here click new to create a new flat file connection manager and I can browse the file. My file is situated inside D files, but the extension of the file is CSV. So I will select the CSV file from here. I will select the file name, click open. I can click preview to see if the data looks good or not. So I can see that uh, SSI is able to detect the column names, okay, and their data time. So this seems good here. So I can click on OK. Okay. Now I can use the OLEDB destination to write the data into a SQL server table. So I can just connect the flat file source with the OLEDB destination and I can configure the OLEDB destination here. I can click new to create a new flat file connection manager. Right now our table exits inside the test database onto this particular SQL Server instance. So I will select this connection here because it's already there. In case if it is not here then you can create a new OLEDB connection manager as well. So I can click OK and from data access mode I will select the table or view fast load because it do the bulk insert. Now from the list of available table or view, I will select the table name. So my table name is employee data. So I can select this table, click mappings. So you can see that input columns have been mapped with the destination columns because uh, you know the name of the columns is same. So that's why they got uh, mapped automatically. Now I can click on OK. So my very basic SSIS package is ready. And of course right now we don't have any data in the employee data. And we have 1000 records in the CSV file. So let me click on the start button and it should import the data from the CSV file into the SQL server table. So you can see that 1000 records have been inserted from a CSV file into the SQL server table. And right now everything looks great. So let me just truncate the employee data table for now so that I can just test like how it will behave when there will be some invalid records. Now let me go back to the D files location and open the employee data.csv file. Okay. So if you see here, uh, like this is the date value, okay, date of joining. So in case if there is an invalid date of joining, okay, or in case if the date of joining is missing, so then it will fail because 
it can't insert a blank date into the date column so let me just remove the date from the first record okay so now the date is missing here and for the second record this is the salary so what I can do in case of a valid salary I can maybe put some invalid values like X Y Z I put it here so now this became an invalid salary and this value can't be inserted into an integer column so this should fail uh, for third record what I can do maybe I can put some invalid uh, date value okay uh, maybe for fourth record so if you see this is the 23rd November 2022 so what I can do instead of this November value 11 value I can put maybe 13 here so this became an invalid date now okay so now if I will execute the package then this will fail because the for the first record the date is missing for the second record the salary is invalid and for the fourth record the date is invalid date of joining is invalid okay so let me save the CSA file yes and let me try to rerun the SSIS package so now this time it should fail okay so let's see it yeah so you can see that the process got failed and of course we can have the invalid values when the file received from the client so I can go to the view output and if you check the error message so you can see that invalid character value for cast specification and it is saying that date of joining so it means that some invalid value is being inserted into the date of joining so it got failed on the very first record and the value could not be converted because of a potential loss of data okay so this occurs when you are trying to insert some invalid records okay so now what I can do uh, to handle the errors what I want because there were 1000 records in the CSV file and only couple of records are bad records so what I want is that I want to move those bad records or the error records to another table and I want the good records to be inserted as it is to our final table the employee data table and the package should not fail okay so that we can just uh, you know look at the bad records later and the SSIS package should insert the correct data into the destination table so how we can do that so to do that what we can do we can use a data conversion transformation here and then we can just redirect the rows to another destination table okay so I can just delete this particular mapping from here and I can just drag and drop the data conversion transformation into the data flow task now connect the flat file source with the data conversion transformation and configure the data conversion transformation from here okay so our columns were the majority of the columns those can fail are the date of joining and the salary column because in the date of joining we can have an invalid date and in the salary column we can have a invalid salary value okay if you want to add the same logic to other columns then you can do that as well there is no issue with that okay but right now I'm just doing this for the two columns so now what we will do for the date of joining right now by default when you create a flat file connection manager then it makes the data type for all columns to varchar 50 okay but the date of joining is of type date so we need to typecast it to date okay so from the data type we will select uh, dt underscore date means date okay and for the copy of salary by default it is a string dt underscore str 50 so we will select is 4 byte sign integer because 4 byte sign integer is for the integer data type so now we have changed the data type for the date of joining and salary and now these two columns got created copy of date of joining and copy of salary and we can use these two columns in the OLEDB destination okay now what we will do we will click on the configure error output now what we can do you can just press the shift key and then click at the end of the column so this will select all the columns so you need to just select all the columns and now set this value to selected rows you need to select to redirect row okay so now from the fail component we are changing it to redirect row and you can click on apply so this will change the values of the error and truncation columns from failed component to the redirect row so what it will do in case of failure it will redirect the row to the another output to the errored output okay now I can click on ok and I can click on ok again now you can just uh, connect the blue arrow from the data conversion with the OLEDB destination okay and then what you can do you can use the another OLEDB destination to insert the data to the error record table another table okay so now I can just drag and drop the OLEDB destination into the data flow task 
and then I can just connect the error row, the red line from the data conversion to the OLEDV destination one. Okay, and set this value. I can select redirect row, and I can click on OK. Now I can right click on it, and I can click edit, and from here I can click new, and I can make a new table to which I want to insert the bad data to. Okay, so I can call it maybe employee data underscore errored records okay i can call something like this and i can click on okay i need to click on mappings to make sure that all input columns have been mapped with the destination columns so this looks good so i can click on okay so our ssis package is ready to be executed and it should insert the good records to the employee data table and the bad records it should insert into the employee data underscore error record table okay so right now our employee data table is empty and I can just click on start button and it should execute the SSIS package. So the process ran fine and it read 1000 records from the CSV file and it inserted 997 records to the good table, the employee data table and the three records, the bad records got moved to the employee data underscore error rows table. Okay, so I can just select the data from the employee table and this contains 997 okay and let me check the another table i can just refresh the tables from here and the table name is employee data underscore error records okay and let me check the data in that particular table select star from this one let me execute this one so you can see that for the first record the date of joining this is missing so that's why it got failed and for the second record the salary has invalid values you know xyz there is xyz so that's why it got failed and for the third record uh, you know the date of joining is invalid this is 13th month okay so that's why it's an invalid date and it came here okay so if you look at the error column so you know it is giving the number of the column like here date of joining is missing and here the date of joining is invalid so that's why it has given the error number seven and for this one it has given the error number 10 I'm not sure like why ss has given this maybe it should provide the error you know the name of the column but this is how you know it works so yeah but at least you know like what records got filled and you can analyze the data and you can know you know wh why it can fail in ssis package we have just uh, selected two columns you know to check for the correct data and the columns were date of joining and the salary column so that's why you know that most probably the error will be in these two columns only okay and the ssis package of course will handle only the columns those you selected in the data conversion and you selected the redirect row option for those columns okay yeah so i think that's it for today's video and maybe i can share the uh, csv file the good csv file that i used here and i can share the a career table script for the employee data and the employee data underscore error records as well thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much